Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to discuss about the usability engineering or human factors engineering. Before that, we are going to discuss why our product fails in the market. The product fails not only due to the design error or material error or manufacturing process error or transportation or storage error or training deficiency. The mainly the maximum amount of product failure is happens due to the human error. For example, over one third of the device incidents in the US happens due to the usability issue. World Health Organization describes in between 2005 to 2009, FDA received approximately 54,000 reports of adverse events with the infusion pump product. The incident includes large number of injuries and deaths. So here we can understand how the usability engineering is important in the product. The definition of usability engineering. Usability engineering is defined as characteristic of user interface that establish effectiveness efficiency, user satisfaction and easy of user learning. Then it is very important to discuss the difference between user interface and user experience. In user experience, uh, there is the involvement of material used to, to construction of the device, technology used to, to develop the device and how the designs of the product is all comes under the user experience. In user interface, in this scenario, user does not worry about the technology used to develop the product and all. User has to feel the satisfaction while interacting with the product. Those parameters is comes under user interface. For example, if you consider the smartphone, the user does not worry about the material of construction, microcontrollers used in the smartphones. So the user does not worry about those things. The main thing for user is he consider the how he is interacting with the product. How easy to interacting with the product like touch screens, lock and unlock of the phones and voice transaction between the calls. He has to consider those important things as the user interface. He does not worry about the user experience. Then we have to consider the type of user error while designing or developing the product. Basically there are two types of user error. One is unintended user error. Another one is intended user error. If user having more experience on the product, he do the mistakes by memory failure or forgetting some procedures. Those kind of error is fall under the unintended user error. If user does not having any training on the product, he is very new to the product. He doesn't know how to operate the product. Then intentionally he try to operate the device and do the mistakes. Those kind of errors is fall under the intent user error. Next thing is we have to consider the usability process flow while designing or developing the product. First thing we have to do prepare the user specifications, user scenarios and interface requirements, interface designs and evaluate those things. We are going to discuss one by one. First thing is prepare the user specifications. We have to list down the primary operating functions and function related safety to the user. For example, if you develop the bike, the primary operating functions we need to consider are the user has to sit very comfortable in the seat. User's hand is able to hold in the handle at a very grip manner. The second thing we need to consider is user scenario. While developing the product, we have to consider the physical parameters of user. How tall the user is, how short he is, then the weight of the user, the vision power of the user, the hearing capacity of the user we have to consider. If you develop the bike, we have to consider like it is for a short person or a tall person. Those things is considered as a user scenario. Then the interface requirement. Interface requirement is nothing but we have to 
Consider the user scenarios while designing the product while selecting the materials of the product. We have to consider those scenarios and fulfill in our product. This is called the interface requirement. In interface design, we have to claim how we fulfill the user scenarios and the interface requirements in the product. For example, if I design the chair for the user, I have to consider the weight of the user and height of the user and where he is using the chair in the office or in home. We have to consider those things to meet the requirement. Finally, we have to do the evaluation because we develop the product as per the user scenarios and fulfill the designs as per the user needs. So we have to evaluate by distributing the product to the users. We have to develop the evaluation plan to whom we are given the product to evaluate, in which region we are given the product to evaluate, what are the checkpoints we need to check with the users about the product, those kind of things we have to do evaluate. The general principles we need to consider while doing the usability engineering process. First, we need to seek the user input. We have to involve the user at the early stage of the design. It is not like that after completing the design and product, we have to distribute the product to the user. It is not like that. We have to involve the user at the early stage of the design. The design has to be keep it very simple as much as possible and ensure the safety of user while using the product. The user uh, has not to be panic while using the product due to the fear. Don't expect user to be the masters. Consider the layman to use our product. It has to be very user friendly. Expect the user error. Don't rely on an IFU trainings, warnings and the user memory. If you consider some of the products we are using in our daily life, each and every time we are not uh, read the IFUs or training manuals like those things. Consider the worst case scenario of the user while designing the product. Limit the user workload and try to design the product such as to prevent the user to confuse. User has to be very clear while using our product. He has not to confuse by seeing our product itself. Thank you for those viewers who are listening and spending the time to learn the usability engineering process. So thanks for watching. Inshallah, we will meet in the next video.